Oh, you're very cute. Little puppet lady. Robot. Uh huh. Is that you? Fighting the ink demon? Uh huh. Can, can, I, can I do anything? Don't worry, just looking around. Nothing in that drawer. And that door is locked. So what do you want? Alright. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later. Okay. I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Don't Betty will show drink you to anything. your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. I, I, you never actually killed the ink demon, did you? No. He's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that <sighs> soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Well, Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Uh, okay. I, I think... Wilson is the son of like another main character who got You're here trapped at here. Last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs, and then there's the north wing. What's in the north wing? What's in the north wing? What's, what's in the north wing? The ink demon got in there a while ago. Oh. And ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. Okay. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins. Those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart even from limb if Wilson's with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Uh, okay, okay. I can't get in there now. Don't worry, lady. I am on my way. I've just tied tie my shoelaces. Yeah. What? No, I don't want to sit. I'm gonna. I want to check every single door and every cupboard. Don't worry. I'm a investigator. Yes, that's what Wilson needs me for. All right. Uh huh. I'm, I'm not gonna go in there. Let's... It's not very often I have guests to look after, well, that's especially nice. one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Besides Wilson, but he's also completely mad. I think. Is All this right. my room? Here we are. Best room in the house. Oh, fancy. Here's a, here's a tip for you, and thank you so much. Um, you should see where I sleep. Ooh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Oh. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Yeah, so it's okay. Looks really good. Fantastic. Th thank you so much. Did you have any questions? I, I have too many. Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. 
He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, uh, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Uh, okay, just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Well, th thank you, thank you. Let's let's check out the bathroom. I need a shower. Uh, uh, hello. No, no bathroom breaks then. Damn it. Okay, I don't need to sit. Oh, the mug and the maiden. I'm gonna read that now. Let's play some music. Nice. Okay. For sleeping driver. Gilson. It's everything I've lost in exactly three sips of water. Gilson. Gilson. Why do I know that name? Gilson. Okay. Mug and the Maiden. Oh, that was a lovely book. Mm, I'm so tired. Gilson. What's a Gilson? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Look at myself. I'm um, half ink and half not. I, I think I'm doing quite quite good for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's go for a loo break. Gilson, Gilson, Gilson. What is a Gilson? Hmm. Okay. That was a brain fart. Okay. Now that I'm fresh, now it's time. Okay. Three, three sips of water. Do, do I switch on the tap? Okay. Do I maybe leave? Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Damn it. Peekaboo. Oh, there's a recorder here. Let's see what this has to say. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing. And he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. Ooh, okay. Don't know who Alan Gray is, but he must be important. Um, I'm going to save right here. Yeah. And I'm going to leave this episode here. If you do enjoy the videos, please leave a like, comment, share to all your friends, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.